is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. With that being said, let's just put our hands up and just say hallelujah. Hallelujah. If God has done something good for you this week, just say hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God this morning. Because our Father, he's been so good. And he just loves us so, so much. Hallelujah this morning. Welcome, Bridget Word, family, and Facebook friends. Welcome to our Word and Worship experience. Hallelujah this morning. As always, in tradition of Victory Word, as paraphrased in Psalm 100, we want to shout joyfully to the Lord, all ye lands. We want to worship this great King of God. We want to come into his presence with singing this morning. We want to enter the gates with thanksgiving and the courts with praise. We want to give thanks to God. We want to praise the holy name. For the Lord is good and his steadfast love is forever. And his faithfulness is for all generations. So if he did it then, he'll do it right here. That's something to shout about right there. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So, Father, we come to you this morning just to say thanks. You've done so much for us. We can't put into words. So sometimes all we can do is just say thank you, Holy Father. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we just thank you for blessing after blessing after blessing. Father, we thank you for your grace and your mercy. Father, we thank you for our Savior in the form of Jesus Christ. Your son. Father, we know that you are with us all the time and, and always present in our lives. But right now, Father, we just want to feel your presence. We want to feel your power. In conference with your Holy Spirit this morning, bless all of those under the sound of my voice. Bless the praise team as they sing glory songs to your name. Bless the pastor as he, as he gives you the word today. We ask all of these blessings in your son Jesus Christ we pray that all those under the sound of my voice, wherever you are, just say amen. Amen. And amen. Hallelujah and glory to God. Service at Ricky Word is called to order. Hallelujah.
Oh! 
Amen. Amen. For his awesome accomplishment of graduating from the DCC chaplain for class of 2018. Hallelujah. Oh, they were, they were delayed, but they were not denied. Amen. This is the class of 2018. And they graduated in 2020. We thank God for their perseverance. Yes. And they kept right on working through it all. Kept right, keep right on working through the pandemic. Yes. We are thankful for our Detroit Police Department yes. And, yes. and especially our Detroit Police Chaplain Corps who yes. keeps praying for our officers, yes. who, keeps, who keeps encouraging them to go on and do what they pledge to do as a Detroit police officer. Amen. 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 They deserve a lot more than what they get yes. because we know if it wasn't for God, yeah. Amen. if it wasn't for God, being in the, these police officers' lives, being in these chaplains, encouraging them, a lot of them, it, it would be a lot more suicide up on the on, on the force. Amen. 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 So we're thankful. We're thankful, and we're so proud, godly proud of our pastor yes, for hanging yes. in there and doing something he loves. Amen. 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 All right. All right. Although we are living in some challenging times, we must continue to operate in faith and not in fear. Because remember, fear is not a problem when you have faith. It's not a problem when you have faith. Amen. So as Kingdom Stewards, we must continue to fulfill our financial obligations to the Lord and His ministry. And so at this time, we would like for you to prepare for your tithes, your offering, your heat giving, your any giving that God puts on your heart to give. Amen. The giving information is on your screen. You can go to our website. You can cash app. Dollar sign BWC 2012. Send it to the P.O. Box. P.O. Box 361200, Gross Point, Michigan 48236. And just know that we appreciate, appreciate each and every one of you for being diligent in your giving. Amen. Amen. Victory Word has managed to stay afloat through this pandemic, and it couldn't happen without you. Amen. Giving hearts and giving minds. Hallelujah. We thank you, God. May God continue to bless you. If you would like to reach Pastor Michael, myself, just give us a call on the church office phone at 313-243-4512. If you have need for a special prayer, please make your prayer request at www.victoryprayerrequest at gmail.com or go to our website, www.victory wordchurch.org and hit the prayer request tab and then go directly to our pastor and he will pray with him for you. Always, always remember to keep our pastor leaders in our prayers because they too are front liners. Amen. And they care for our soul's destination. Our prayers are purposeless. Our Victory Word Church family. Pastor DL and First Lady Harville and United Ministries Worldwide. The Spiritual Church in this Army. Pastor Remarco and First Lady Pittman and the New Prosperity Baptist Church. Bishop Leonard Gardner and family. Pastor Gregory and Lady Smith and the Dye Hill Baptist Church. Pastor James and First Lady Reigns and the FOSCI Christian Ministries. Pastor Doran and Lady Morrison in Higher Praise Worship Center, Pastor James and First Lady Minnick, and the Mount Pleasant Missionary Baptist Church, Brother MJ Oliver, Sister Boston Oliver, Sister Mar Kayla Marshall, and Sister Mar Marcina Golden, Minister LaRue Clay, Sister Marsha White, Sister Bonnie Brown, Minister Carol Hicks and family, Sister Nikki Swan, the Hodges family, Denise Hawking and family, the Stallworth family, Sister Vivian Lott, Pastor Aaron Bosley Sr. and family, Daryl and Kelly Joseph and family. Also, our sister church, churches, Pastor James, Marks, and family in our Victory Road Church located in the country of India 
and Pastor Jose Daniel and family and our Ricky Richards located in the country of Kenya. All of the school systems from Kenny God, please go on to all levels of college. <laughs> My God. Our first responders and healthcare and essential workers and all of our teachers, amen, our educators, please keep them lifted in prayer. And a special prayer for the sick and shut in and the unbelieved. If you have anyone to add to our prayers of purpose list, just give us a call at 313-243-4512. And don't forget to go to our Facebook page every Monday for the awesome anointed word of the week. And remember, we are living our future now. another good day to have a God day. We're so thankful to God for all the blessings he's bestowed upon us on this week. We thank God for taking care of us from dangers seen and unseen. I think I have a few witnesses in the house today and that may be viewing us that know that God, has, if it had not been for him on hey, your side, yes, God, yes, God. you would have lost your mind this week. Yes, God. But yes, he kept you sane. And for that, I just have to say thank you. Thank you, Lord. Yes, God. Yes, it's been, it's been a good week. It's been a good day. Yes, it has. I thank God for our, our 2018 class chaplains graduating on yesterday. Amen. Amen. I'm thankful for Five Alive. Yes, yes. That's the precinct. That's where we are, number five. I thank God for all of the chaplains. I thank God for the for the chief and assistant chief and his staff and yes. chief chaplain and, and my commander and all of the everyone. Yes. Yes. We yes. just thank God because at the end of the day we're just servants. Right. Amen. We're Amen. servants. We're servants. Amen. We're servants. Amen. Thank you for AP being able to set it up for me taking pictures with our chief on yesterday. It was just a great day. Yes. Yes. We thank God. We thank God. Uh, in this season, we need to be more thankful for those that are connected to us. Because you have to realize that no one has to do anything for you. No one owes you anything. For those who think somebody owes you, just keep living. You'll find out they don't owe you nothing. And the very ones you think owe you, they'll turn around and say, I don't owe you a thing. And so don't get caught up in people owing you. But be thankful for those who celebrate you. Yes, yes, those who, who love you enough to do things without asking or looking for things in return. We just ought to thank God for the few people that do love us. Be thankful for that one friend. Yeah, if you're looking for, if you got one, you go ahead of the game. You ought to be thankful for those that right. take time out to say, I love you. Those who say, right. oh, what you doing? Call you just to say, hey, I didn't hey, know nothing. Yeah. I just called yeah. to see about right. you. Be thankful. Be thankful yeah. for those times. 
We're living in times now that people are doing all kinds of things, but the Bible said these days would come. Yes. The question is, how are you going to react mm -hmm. to the days that you're living in? Right. So we have to be thankful for each and every day. Yes. We have to be thankful for every moment, every second. Because even if you're going through a sorrowful time, there's something to you to learn from it. To be able to understand that even in my sorrow, God is still in charge. Yes, amen. And I have to be thankful. Yes. Do I have any thankful people yes. that's watching today yes, and that may be here in the auditorium amen. with us? Yes, God. And just say, Lord, I, I thank Lord, you. Lord, I thank you. I, I thank you. I'm sure I thank you because you look beyond my faults yes. and you saw my needs. Yes, Lord, God. Thank Lord, we have to have a we have to be in a posture to just be more thankful. Yes, God. And to be more humble. Yes, yes, yes. To know that if it had not been for God on my side, on my side yes. I don't know where I would be. Yes, God, yes, God. But I'm thankful today I'm in this place. Yeah, all right, all right. Yes, yes God. Amen. Go with me in prayer. Most gracious Father, we come before you right now in this house of worship. To do nothing more but worship you. Yes, yes, God. To be thankful for who you are. Yes. To bless your name. And to say thank you. Lord, as I stand here behind the sacred desk, I ask you, Lord, to use me in your service. Yes, God. Father, I ask that you use me to bless your people. Yes, those God. that might be hurting right now. Yes. Some may have tears in their eyes and pain in their body. Lord, I ask you to use me in your service. Lord, to let your people know that there is still a reality in serving a true and living God. For you are our reality. And Lord, even though sometimes it feels like we're all alone, you said in your word you wouldn't leave us nor forsake us. So God, we praise you this morning. In this house, in this place, we bless your name today. Yes, God. Lord, someone may be hurting right now. Yes, yes. May have tears flowing down their face. Some may not know what they're going to do, but there will be glory after this. Yes, yes. Lord, some may be going through trials and tribulations on the job, maybe even at home. And I'm here to declare that there will be glory after this. And so, Father, although we are going through, we're not through going. And so today we're going to praise you and we're going to worship you yes, 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 yes. and we're going to magnify your name yes, yes, yes. because you are our God and our Father. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. So sisters and brothers, come and go with me yes. to my Father's house yes, where yes. there's peace yes. and joy and happiness. In my father's house. Yes, Thank you, Lord. Lord, use me now for your people, for your word. That is my prayer this morning, and it is so. It is so. And it is so. It is so. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 If you were, would you turn with me to the book of Psalm 51? Verse 10, reading from the King James Version, David says these words. Created me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Yes, God. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation and uphold me with thy free spirit. Yes, then will I teach transgressors thy ways 
and sinners shall be converted unto me. I want to preach for a few moments, Victory Word, and our Facebook family. I want to preach for the sermon topic. It's an inside job. It's an inside job. Would you turn to your neighbor and those that are at home and just repeat after me, I'm working on the inside. I'm working on the inside. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Words. So many times we, we, we get ourselves prepared on the outside. I believe we woke up this morning and we washed our body and, yes. and we brushed our teeth mm -hmm. and we used deodorant and those things to make us smell fresh and feel good. Mm -hmm. Ladies put on perfume and men we use cologne and comb our hair and do the things that we need to do to present ourselves on the outside. But I'm here to tell you this morning, it's really, it's an inside job. Mm -hmm. right. I wonder, do we take as much time preparing the inside mm -hmm. as we do the outside? Mm -hmm. It's an inside job. Mm -hmm. Let me give context to the text. Uh, David is asking God for forgiveness because he, he did something he shouldn't have done when he took a man's wife because he wanted her so bad didn't care about the consequences didn't didn't care about the ramifications didn't care about the 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 the, the, the what all of the things that would happen because of what he, he had done and so as he comes to himself. Anybody ever did something and went after something that they wanted so bad and they did whatever it take, took to get it and then when you came to yourself I need for you this morning to come to yourself and realize it's an inside job. You don't need to prepare for the outside, you 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 need to prepare your insides. And right. What David has said in this text, Father, I know I've messed up, but I need you to create in me a clean heart. <laughs> Some of us need to clean up our heart Jesus. so God can use us to the capacity on, that He created us right. for. Yeah. He cannot use you when you're so full oh. of yourself. Oh. That's an inside Amen. job. Amen. Victory word. I need you to understand you need to allow yourself to be cleaned up from the inside out. Yes, it's good to crimp your hair. Yes, it's good to shave. Yes, it's good to use the other, but I need you to clean up the inside. I need you to crimp yourself with peace and joy. Health and happiness. I need you to crimp on the inside. Get some more righteousness on the inside. More forgiveness on the inside. So the more you prep and prep for the inside, I promise you, you will look beautiful on the outside. Yes. Help me today, Father, to clean up my heart. Yes. Yes. And not just my heart, Lord, renew a right yes. spirit. Because sometimes, Father, along this way, I get tired. Yes. All right. Amen, sir. Amen. Yes, Do I have any tired yes, strength God. That, yes, God. that keep on, keeping on, keep yes. trying? keeps moving. And I'm here to tell you every now and then, you have to pull over to the side of the road and ask Amen. God to renew a right spirit. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yes, sir. I wish I had two of you would just say amen. amen. I, I, I need you, Father, to renew a right spirit because yes. sometimes my mind gets off track. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. And even though, Lord, I must renew my mind, I need you to renew my spirit. Yes, yes, yes. Because I can't do it without you. Yes, God. Yes, God. Have you ever been in a situation where you ask God, cast me not away from thy presence? Lord, I need to stay in your 
your presence. Well, he said, for in order for you to stay in my presence, I need you to stay on your knees. Uh, all right. Uh, amen. Come on now. Yeah, all right now. Come on. Not naturally so, but in your spirit. Can you stay on your knees? In other words, be in a position to pray. Yes. Mm. Not only to pray, but to pray. Yes. Not only to pray and praise, but to pray, praise, and worship. Yes. Do I have yes. anybody yes. here that can yes. do all three of them? Yes. Because if we, I, 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 I believe if you can do all three, then he yes. will renew a right spirit yes. within yes. you. Yes. But I need some praisers, right. not just praises. I need some worshipers, right. not just some worshipers. I need you to pray. Yes. yes. Amen. 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 Father, cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit. From me, Lord, I, I need your spirit. Yes, yes, I, yes, I need your spirit. Why? Because I'm going through a situation right now that I can't handle on my own, God. And if I can just continue to keep the Holy Spirit within me, then it'll it will catapult me into where you're trying to take me. Right, I just right, need right. your Holy Spirit to resonate in my spirit. Right. So, Lord, I won't lean to my own understanding. Yes. And, Lord, I will follow you throughout all situations, yes. circumstances. Lord, why? Because I'm trusting you. Because I realize it's an inside job. Right, right. Mm. Amen. Well. Amen. Amen. Uh, yeah, I, I realize today, Lord, that even though I woke up this morning with my mind, it may not have been stayed on you. Right. Yeah. Amen. And so since I haven't stayed on you, Lord, I need you to continue to keep me balanced long enough for me to come back to my right mind to realize, Father, I don't want to leave your presence. All right. Amen. Father, restore unto me the joy of thy salvation. When I used to love to get up and just praise you. Oh, all right. When I love to tell somebody else about how good you were to me. Yes. Uh, yes you know, yes. us saints, when we get seasoned and older, uh, we start forgetting about how good he really has been to all us. Right, all right. We forgot that he's a way maker. Yeah, yeah. We forgot that he's a heavy load carrier. We forgot that he's a burden bearer. We forgot that he's a bridge over troubled yeah, waters. Yeah. We forgot that he's our water when we're thirsty. We forgot that he's bread when we're hungry. Right. We forgot that he wipes tears from our eyes. Yeah. Sometimes we forget and think we're doing it ourselves. But I'm here to tell you, oh, nothing that you're doing, you're doing on your own. Yeah, amen, amen. Because he is the God of my salvation. Do I have any saved people in here today? All right, all right. And if you're saved, you need to ask yourself and say, thank God what he saved you from. All right, come on now. Because most of us, I dare say all of us, at one time needed to be saved from ourselves. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, saved from the thoughts that I think. And yeah. Saved from the attitude that I have. And yeah. Saved from the habits that I have. And yeah. Lord, just save me. Yeah. Save me. Save me. Uphold me with thy free spirit. Have you ever felt the spirit on you when you just felt free? Uh -huh. yes. Yes. Because who the sun set free is free. free indeed. Yes. There's a there's there's a freedom that I have during this pandemic. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, there, 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 there's a freedom that, see, everyone feels bound because they don't know the Holy Ghost. See, right. Right. Once you know the Holy Ghost, you can't be bound by situations or circumstances that's going on around you. Why? Because you realize, Victory Word, that it's an inside job. Right. And once you realize that it's an inside job, nothing yeah. around me can hold me down right. because God is doing all the work on the inside. I need two of you at home that's watching me right now to realize what you're going through is just temporary. All right, all right. Whatever that situation is, it's temporary. Yes, it may be heavy on you. Yes, it may feel like a yoke, but I'm here to tell you it's only temporary, and all I need you to do is remember that it is an inside job. Yes. Amen. Yes. yes. Create in me. Father, clean heart. Because when I have a clean heart, I'm able to hear you when you speak even through all of this all of these things going on in the earth realm right now. Right. 
Father, uphold me with thy free spirit. And then once you do all of these things, then will I teach transgressors thy ways. Then, Father, when you keep me the way you would have me to go, it's easier for me to tell someone else, listen, he'll be a doctor for you in the yeah, sick room. Yeah, yeah. Not a real pastor because he was a doctor for me. Yeah. Somebody knows him as a lawyer. Somebody yeah. Know, yeah. Lord knows him as a provider. Right. Whatever it is, that he's done for you, you ought to be able to tell somebody else, if he did it before, he yeah. can do it again. Yeah. If he did it for me, he'll do it for you. Yeah. I just need four people to jump up in their living room yeah. and high five themselves and say, he'll do it for me. Yeah. Just like he did it back in the biblical days, yeah. just like he did it in my mama's day, in my grandmama's day, he'll do it in my day yeah. because I realize that it is an inside job. Yes. The psalmist says, then will I teach transgressors thy ways, and sinners shall be converted unto thee. It, it's good when you can convert someone just by your lifestyle. All right. All right. When, 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 when you don't have to say much, all you have to do is walk upright and let people see how good God is. Yeah. See, right. see, there's too many people talking about him and not being about him. There, right. there, there's too of us always know what to say and never know what to do. Right. There's Amen. sometimes where you don't need to say anything. All you need to do is be there in the situation. Be there, stand there, hold that person's hand, say everything's going to be all right. Yeah. Yeah. God has yeah. not forgotten you. He'll yeah. do just what he said he would do. All you got to do is remember that it's an inside job. It's yeah. an inside yeah. job. It's yeah. an inside yeah. job. I have to continue to do what? I have to work on my insides. My, ins my outside is wonderful, but the question is, what is my inside? looking like. If I did an x-ray on you, would your inside show peace or would it show hate? Would it show heaven or would it show hell? I don't know. But I'm asking just a few questions because I need to know from the saints what's going on on the inside. Has he done anything for you? Has he made a way out of no way? Has he wiped tears from your eyes? Well, if that be the case, then I need you to show someone else how good he is. And all you gotta do is say, it's an inside job, my sister. It's an inside job, my brother. All you have to do is realize that God will do just what he said he would do. I said it now. He'll do it because he's done it before. If he's done it before, he can do it now. If he do it now, he'll do it in the future. All I need from the Lord is just do it, Lord. Do it in your time. Do it in your season. Do it in my mind. Do it in my heart. Do it in my spirit. Do it in my soul. I need you, Lord, because my soul looks back and wonders sometimes how I got over. Is there anybody in here today that know that he's a wheel in the middle of a wheel? He's the water in the desert. He's my bright and morning star. And if it had not been for him on my side, I don't know where I would be because the Lord is my strength. He's my strong tower. He's my provider. And I realized that I needed to have a clean heart so I could be able to be filled by the Holy Ghost. And once I get the Holy Ghost in me, he's more than a conqueror. And I don't have to worry about the things going on around me. Do I have anybody that can bless the Lord today and say, Lord, I thank you for every mountain that you brought me over. For every valley that you carried me through. If it had not been for the Lord who was on my side, guess what victory was? I would have lost my mind. Yeah. And guess what? He harnessed my tongue for me not to speak damnation into my own life. Sometimes he keeps your mouth shut so you won't speak the wrong thing. He needs you to speak those things that be not as though they are. So if you're going through something, Speak on those things that you know God has already brought you through. And if you just do that, you will realize. Yeah. My God. Jesus. Yeah. Yes, yes. Jesus. You will realize. Yes, God. Yes, God. Thank you, Lord. That it is an inside job. Yes. Will you give God a hand praise Woo! this morning? Hallelujah. You can be better than God. Amen. Amen. Yes, God. Yes, God. My goodness. If this 
season. I don't just want to be a man of God this season. I want to be God's man. Because okay. when I'm God's man, he can use me anytime. That's right. That's right. Any place. Anywhere. You ought to want to be in the place if you're God's woman or God's man. Did you hear what I just said? Yes. Remember who you are and remember who you are. That's right. That's right. If there's one that would like to give their life to Christ, this is your opportunity to just pray this simple prayer with me this morning. I'm a sinner. Lord, I'm a sinner. And I want to give my life over to you. I accept Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. I believe that he died and was risen. And I thank you for dying for my sin. If you pray that simple prayer with me, you will wonder. Graph it in to the family. What you have done in God. I want you to get with the church, a Bible-based church that will teach you more about true and living God. If there's one that would like to be a part of the Victory Word Church, where we are a judgment-free zone, we don't beat you up, we pick you up, and we watch God do what? Lift you up. So if you'd like to be a part of our fellowship, you may call the church office at 313-243-4512. And we'll take you in to our fellowship here. Thank you, Lord. We thank you. We thank you. We thank everyone that's been a part of this service on today. We thank you for those that have been keeping up with their financial obligations to the ministry. We thank you so very much. We thank our partners. We thank those who give so seeds to the ministry. We just thank you. And we're still going forward. Victory Word, this too soon shall pass. We'll be together once again. Our Bible study will be starting in the next couple of weeks. Don't worry. It's coming. It's coming. Amen. Amen. We should thank everyone, all of our Facebook viewers, all of our YouTube subscribers. We thank you for tuning into the Victory Word Church. Because here at Victory Word, we're living our future now. We're trusting and believing God. And we know that there's victory in the world. So Victory Word, we'll see you once again next Sunday, same time, right here on this platform. Our Facebook friends and family. We love you and we thank God for you. If you were, let's go. Let's go. Let's go.
Almighty, give us a spirit of prayer, praise, and worship. Father, continue and order in our steps. Bless all of those under the sound of my voice. When we go out and about this week, just give us traveling mercies. Continue on protecting us. Continue on blessing us. Father, we know that you are still Jehovah Jireh, our provider. Father, we know that you are Jehovah Shabbat. Right now, just give us peace in this tumultuous world. Just bless all of those under the sound of my voice. We ask all of these blessings in your Son, Jesus Christ, that we pray. Let all the people of God say amen. 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 This is our prayer, and it is so in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Bless us today. Which one are you ready to go higher? Well, let's go.